God dang it. We got new annual games. Let's pick it. What is the – do we call it the best? And everyone can read my facetious, my uh, whatever, my sarcasm. Or do we just straight up call it the worst? The worst rivalry game that will be played every year that nobody in their right mind will probably tune into. I'm going Montana, Portland State. Uh, I'll just I'll explain it and then I'll let you guys rebut it. I guess real quick. It's not a rivalry. It's just Bruce Barnum and Bobby Houck, and they're not going to be there forever. I already kind of touched on it. That game sucks. One Portland State's actually done all right against Montana, and like since. We've been back in the big sky. I think they've maybe gone two for two or something, just like surprisingly shocking. Um, but like that's not going to keep up. Portland State is on the verge of being the next Eastern Washington, but actually folding, um, which hint, hint, we might not have any of these schedules here in like a year. But uh, for me, that's like, I'm just, that's not a rivalry game. That is a cakewalk. It's basically the equivalent of what used to be Montana State versus Northern Colorado. That is what shuffled in. Now it's Montana versus Portland State. That is the rivalry that's like, why, how, and how does a really good team in the conference get an easy annual cakewalk? That it, it actually makes me mad that that's what happened. It should have been us or Eastern. So Portland State was the worst. Montana picking up Portland State was the worst change in the protected rivalry games. The worst game. I'm still going to live in Portland, but I used to joke all the time about like Southern Utah, Northern Colorado, always have that game circled on my calendar. The new one, Portland state, Northern Colorado. Damn it, Brian. There's another Northern Colorado game for you to pick Dallas that actually could work here too. But that, that to me, like we need a championship for like the single game that even the hardcore big sky fans, you'll turn in. You'll tune in five seconds. You're like, what, what am I doing? What is in their Boise State game I can watch instead of this? But at least it's going to be competitive. That's my pushback with it. Like, that game could be competitive. It could be competitive, but it's going to, it's, it's going to be like, the, again, it's the, I used to call the Bob Curtis, I say, by the, you say, I don't have Bob Curtis Bowl. That was back in the whack days when we had Thanksgiving, ga- Thanksgiving weekend game schedule. No one was there. We often played either Utah State or New Mexico State where when they were not doing well. So it's truly like the championship for last last second, last place. I've got Portland State and Northern Colorado. That's the new Bob Curtis Bowl. We needed someone else's name to not sully the great, great legendary announcer. Yeah. Yeah. But that to me, I mean, no, you're right. Montana should be a shit out of Portland State. But as far as I can't make myself care about it at all and I care about the big sky, Portland State, Northern Colorado. I think like in 20 years, that could easily be 10-10. I mean, Dallas, you're going to be the Supreme Court justice here, man. So that was the one I was going to go for. Those teams have played, I think, 13 times since 1979. So it's not some sort of established rivalry. I think that dates back to when they were both Division II schools. They're both schools that none of us care about. If the Big Sky just randomly lost both of those teams, none of us would give a single shit about it. And most of the big sky wouldn't either. And that's where I uh, I would have picked that as worst rivalry game. If I had to pick a different game, yeah, I'd probably go UNC NAU because I feel the same way about NAU that I do with both of those schools. Uh, Plus they have the same colors. That would just be like not enjoyable to watch. It looked like you were watching a spring game. And Greeley exactly. doesn't even have the grass anymore. I mean, it's just factual. Blue and yellow is a terrible color for a football team. Q Dallas's hat. <laughs> I knew that was coming. I'm just gonna, <laughs> good. Uh, okay. Like, For listeners, he has a Rams hat on. Yep. <laughs> uh, yep. That hurt. Uh, but I mean, realistically, I think that we all hit it right on the head because I I think if we cut out NAU, PSU, and UNC, there's there's a big sky I care about a little bit more. It makes the scheduling a whole lot easier. Although games in Portland are fun, but I would say all in all, we hit three pretty bad ones. I know NAU and like Northern Colorado. I think they're trying to make that a thing. They might even have a trophy. I don't know, but at least they're trying. Portland State, Montana, they're not even trying. And Portland State, UNC, like one, are they the furthest two schools from each other now? Denver to Portland's not short. No. So, uh, unless you'd say you'd say Sacramento is further. I don't. I don't know the geography well enough. It's not exactly a like regional game. That's no, every not. single year you're hopping on a jet. 
No. The the best pickup, I'd say, is Montana State ditched UNC and picked up Eastern Washington. Yep. That's a fun game. And there are, like we talked about, and Idaho, Idaho, Idaho State for, for the yeah. conference. Yeah. That's no, probably the, good. There were some good changes in the rivalry setup. Like the California schools are just themselves, which actually I love the idea that we're segregating the California schools because I would love them to build their own culture, old culture, and find their own conference. But, um, Oh, man, they're, they're, I'm going to be devastated that I can't talk about the directional championship of Southern Utah, Northern Colorado. It's now the Northern directional championship of Northern Arizona, Northern Colorado that, yeah, no, dude, I just sold myself. That's our trophy game. Battle for the North. <laughs> True North. <laughs>